Hey guys, as always, I've recorded a little intro here. Uh, this game was taken from my Twitch stream, so if you enjoy the content, be sure to also check uh, the Twitch stream out and check my other YouTube videos out. I uh, hope you enjoy the game. Uh, it's a fair, uh, a fair ranking, so I just have to accept it, I guess. I see no one has a uh, level any any longer. I believe you uh, could go from uh, level zero up to level twenty, but apparently no one has it. Uh, yep, need to catch a mega lolo. Uh, let me see. Let me analyze this board. Hmm. Hmm. So this is a low brick game, I guess. Also, it's it's a decent or game, I I think. I like this pot. We are third in placement. We don't like that. It's the worst placement, worst uh, initial settlement placement. But we'll just have to deal with it. Hopefully, this this stays free, and I'm sure to get this one. It also has a nice uh, weed harbor close by. So hopefully, red doesn't take it. If red takes it, what should we get? Let me see here. I'm kind of tempted to go uh, for the brick port, for the brick tile at least. Just because... Uh, oh, one moment. Just because it's such a scarce resource. And in the early game it's very nice to have some brick. In the early game it's worth a lot. So red is taking his time. I don't think it's a it's a hard choice. This one is a no-brainer for me, but you never know what's going on in other players' mind. This one is nice as well. Of course, as always, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know where should I place my first settlement. This one is nice as well because it has a wound harbor close by, two good wound tiles. Um, so yeah, I like this one as well, and I think I value it more than this one. So red takes that spot. It's it's understandable. It's not a lot uh, a very good lumber board. So I guess I understand he takes this one. Um, but well, he blocks our spot, right? So I think I'm going for this one. I would like an instant road uh, next settlement, but you know I also need weed. So I think hopefully this will be free. But I think the yellow player takes it. But I think I should take this. If I cannot get uh, one of my desired spots, I only need grain pretty much to to go for a tall strategy this game. So I'm placing it there. 4 8 3 top left, you say. It's a good spot and it gives me ore, but this, this tree of brick is it's a bit low. And I guess it's just because I see, see this uh, wound harbor that I'll take this one. 843 or 963 should remain open. 963, yeah, one of those at least should should be open, right? Yeah, and it would be nice for me to double up on my ore supply since the 10 is not a very good number for your main ore supply. But with wool and with ore as my <clears throat> two starting resources, I need grain. And yeah, in almost every game, you need grain or wheat or whatever you want to call it. So, character, cool to see you in. Uh, in the stream, I missed your message actually. 8510 top left with a sheep port. Cool, man. We're on exactly the same level. I haven't seen you in the chat before, but cool to, to see new guys uh, check out my stream. I think this is my fifth week of streaming, and so far I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, as I said, I have a pretty busy, busy uh, schedule at the moment, and I really look forward to every, every week towards. Uh, my streaming session to get some time off uh, and some barracas thank you for following man uh, as I just said I started out streaming five weeks ago and everyone who follows me uh, really encourages me to continue uh, character a uh, character uh, if I pronounce your name wrong just say it right right it's so yeah this stays free We're, we are taking this I think we if you know our strategy, we like to play tall, meaning go for ore, go for wool, and go for grain, buy a lot of development cards, get four settlements, get four cities, and get largest army, and get 10 points. It's, it's a fast route to 10 points. It's like character. Character. 
Yeah, okay, character. I'll say I'll just say character. But cool to see you, man, and cool to see that you're new and I like I like it that you like my analysis pretty much. Uh yeah. So this pot remained open. Uh we took it. I I like uh, having some good grain. It was the best grain spot uh on the map that was remaining, the best grain tile. Uh, and this six I think it will be a very good uh trading good trading resource. <clears throat> Uh, so as I just said, we like to build uh, only two roads and two settlements and then go for cities. That's the way I usually play. Um, so yeah, this, this brick is nice to have in the, in the early game. But at some point it will be just a trading good to get, uh, to get other resources that I, I need. Preferably, for example, ore, since I'm a bit low on the ore side. But once we go to this wound harbor... I think we have a lot of flexibility. Hopefully no one sees it. Maybe reds, may, no, yellow and red already placed it. I don't think purple will steal this from us. He could go for this one, uh, but it doesn't really make sense to prioritize that since he doesn't have any wound then. Do you think the 9 for 11 will remain open? Uh, would be a good option goal later, or 5 for 11. Yeah, I think, now, now there we go. I think yeah, it it, it makes sense for purple to take to take this one. Uh, depending on my strategy, I go for uh, remaining open uh, three tile spots. But usually, my settlements will go towards the border <coughs> because it's just a better chance uh, of expanding. Uh, if you are the first one to place your settlements, uh, let me see. That was the purple player. And you have your last, you know, you play, uh, you place your second settlement uh, last. Then you can go for uh, something like that. I think I will take this one, but always ask something extra, right? Uh, I he's the one asking, so I want something uh, more. Uh, let me see what does. Maybe give me two lumber. I think that might be a bit much, but I always like to try. Uh, I am uh, next to him on this, on my turn. I could trade it with him. He builds a road, so maybe I did miss. And he gets a brick here, so I guess that's not good for me. Because I would have liked to take that uh, that trade, but just on principle, I want to ask something extra. If someone is asking uh, something for me, I ask something extra. Um, if, he, uh, if he had cancelled that trade and offered me the same trade, I would have accepted it. But it's still fine. I think we will trade in four grain for one lumber here I know it feels bad since we just could have made this trade but that's just the way it is that's the way I like to play uh, so let's first check if someone wants to give me lumber for like two grain uh, if not I will uh, return the I will trade these in for one lumber My brick are useless without a uh, lumber you say character character I still have to you know adjust a bit to your name uh, yeah yeah that's true it's if you go for a brick lumber strategy building a lot of roads then always uh, try to to keep them in balance pretty much so make sure you have so I'll build a road there real quick so make sure you have roughly an, uh, the same chance of getting brick and getting lumber um, since uh, just having one of them doesn't really make sense. It, it isn't any of any value to you then. So try to keep them in balance. So Red did win a race there. Uh, I think he... No, he didn't have the resources to also build a village there. Um, and he had a brick in his hand. So I'm not sure why he asked for brick. Uh, usually when you see two players go for a race, try to really get to get the most out of it. Because... They will get desperate just to get that wrong road. So we get blocked here. We do not get stolen from. I guess it's fine. Eventually we, we will need one wound. But we still have a wound resource. Uh, a block on this 10 or this 9 would have hurt us more. Uh, but we are pretty connected with the purple player. We have uh, on this grain and this ore. We have the same tile. So he will not block me. So let's do a quick... Uh, uh, Analyzation, I guess you could say that for who has best chance of getting largest army, who has best chance of getting longest road. 
I think red has a good shot at getting longest road. Oh, and we see a race here. So what does purple need? Uh, nothing. So that that must be on bad for uh, for yellow, right? He got blocked twice. But yeah, he, he did gamble there. I'm not sure if this was worth more than that spot. I personally don't think it. Uh, maybe it was better. Maybe this spot is better than that spot, but this came with a risk, right? Losing one road. This road is pretty much thrown away right now. So I would have gone for that one. We got our first seven here. I didn't really, I didn't really pay attention to the resource distribution. Uh, we would like to get some lumber. Purple doesn't have any lumber. Uh, I think yellow has some lumber and some ore. So I think I'm stealing from the yellow player. Uh, red also. Let me check. Did red? No, red has one brick in his hand. We don't want that brick, so we'll go for yellow. Your money is in yellow rage crit. Yeah, probably, yeah. So I think I'm placing it here. I know placing it on a tree doesn't really feel good, right? But blocking their brick makes my, uh, my, makes my brick even more valuable. So I'll just see really quick if someone wants to give me a lumber for a or just because I improve my chances on getting this settlement next next round next turn so i'm fine if nobody does does it wants to do it i'm sure red couldn't do it red only at break uh but yeah i blocked this tree just so i can uh, trade my brick uh, more expensively yellow goes for first development card yellow has really good setup or i guess similar setup as me for getting uh for getting largest army he do, it does have a double eight uh, it's nice to have double numbers because you know when an eight is being hit and you have an or in your hand um, you're sure that you can buy a development card but at the same time you are really dependent on just one number and, you know I think we have all we all have had those games that just know uh, <clears throat> your number is not being wrong for example uh, if I have one settlement here and if I would have one settlement there and no sixes would would be rolled you know then you're stuck so I like to if possible of course you never know how the game develops but if possible I like to spread out my chances and get as most uh, get a lot of different numbers just so you're not dependent on just one number but it's also it also has some good wood so this hurts me this also hurts purple I think it's a very good placement from the from the red player we did trade away for grain and now we need grain but that's just the way it is um, so we still would like that lumber I don't think anyone has gotten lumber after our last uh, uh, steal so I think I'm going for uh, for yellow again since yellow had bought uh, did buy a development card uh, so uh, we get a grain which is fine as well let's see if someone wants to give us lumber we'll do a, a wild card trade I know yellow has lumber so I'll do one more offer f just for yellow because I know yellow has lumber and we want to get this settlement as soon as possible uh, maybe yellow has a knight normally I don't like to place the rubber on a player that has a knight <clears throat> but in this case I really needed the lumber so we went for it so yellow does accept this uh, I'm fine with it um, I'm happy that I got the settlement re really quick I know I gave two resources for it away including one ore which I don't have very good supply of um, <clears throat> but I like to have my you know I focus on one one goal one uh, one step at a time pretty much so our ring condition is get four settlements get four cities get largest army and what I do is when I after I place my uh, two first settlements I'll decide what will be my first objective in this game and in this case this was my first objective and I'll trade a lot for it just to get that one objective so what does red have uh, what does red have we know he has one brick what else does red have I think red stole something so I'll just make clear I want two resources for it I don't I think I should only trade away my brick really expensively since it's worth a lot for the other players and this one I like he understands I at least want two resources for for one of my brick 
and tool room pretty much means uh, a resource that I want at uh, yeah that I want a five is really good for me at the moment and we'll go for another uh, for another road so my next goal my next objective will be this one uh, just so I have my uh, let me see do I trade in no I'll keep the wound just to keep some flexibility uh, my next goal is to get this one just to get um, <clears throat> a red a yellow already bought two development cards I just want to get the settlement done, uh, done so I don't need to back for lumber any longer but since we now got this wound harbor I don't really need to back for lumber any longer uh, so we do get stolen from I think we um, we see it again the uh, the rubber gets placed on a tile and then the number gets rolled um, and I think we already kind of have a target on our back um, maybe just because of this uh, this harbor because I think they see it's pretty good getting some tents right now so I have a development card in my hand if I don't get any other resources I'll buy one hopefully get a knight uh, you know make a start of getting largest army uh, getting another 10 here is very good let's see what we get we get a three uh, it doesn't give us it does give us grain hmm I'm tempted I'll go for it because getting a city here would be very good for me so if next round someone wants to trade away brick for ore or brick for sheep we have our first city and that would be very nice if we get it so why do you want to see you you are also here good to see you again man uh like that one game i stole your sheep port <laughs> you really have to remind me on that <laughs> yeah but it was a fun game and that's most important i guess uh would the three port be a higher import uh priority no it wouldn't be because i already have good weed income i don't have any lumber income i do have some ore income probably all the ore that i get in this game i will spend and not trade away but you never know which numbers you will get so maybe i get a lot of tents and i have this city here and then i can use it for some extra flexibility and also this six is just a better number than this three so uh, that's why i went for this one we will not get a three to one harbor in this game uh, but uh, I think still think brick will be very valuable. Uh, this is a difficult trade, man. I want something extra. <laughs> this is a very difficult trade. Uh, 11 just has been rolled, so I believe red has two wool. Um, if I get lumber here, I'm I'm sure that I get this next settlement. I'm I'm happy with. It. I'm also happy with it if he doesn't do it. Um, because I'm so close to a city Settlement before city I agree so I'll take this trade Even though I gave away my brick pretty cheaply right now. I Don't want to happen. Uh, the, I don't want the same thing to happen what happened in the in the beginning uh, That is that red passes my trade and also passes uh, passes his turn to me and uh, We didn't get what we want. So we have a city in our hands now. We won't be the first city of the game and I think it's about uh, oh damn, I'm not good at good at maths anymore. I guess it's uh, the fifth fifth round of the game, and we got our first city, and we get another five here. Fives are so incredibly good for us, and I think I'm getting a uh, ore for this uh, wool, just so I'm closer to uh, to arts our next uh, our first development card. Maybe I could have kept them just to have some flexibility. But since we have a city now, if we get some fives, we go up to seven resource cards pretty quick. And that's not good for us because we are at risk of losing cards. So purple loses cards here. No, the A3 for one port, you say. Uh, let me check. Oh, this one, A3 for one port. Yeah, again, um, if I play a wider game, that would be uh, an option for me. Um, but what I at least what I have learned what worked for me is to you know the your objective your the way to win is not to get the best resource income as possible the way to win is to get to 10 points as quickly and efficiently as possible so this would have cost me two more roads I don't have any lumber income and yeah it would have given me a better grain income um, but I've noticed a lot of games that you know I'll, I'll go for this one even though I, I, I can't ride because it, it's blocked I, I'm not taking this trade I can't I can't even get this settlement but 
I don't like to get two roads. Eight sheep, three one. You say, let me check. Eight sheep, three to one. This port. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't I see this? Yeah, maybe I could also get me to longest road, but the same thing counts. I I would need to build two roads and a settlement, and then yeah, I do have a bit a, a bit better uh, wool setup, wool and comb, which would be very good for this so wool harbor. Uh, but I I just think it costs me too much because I've had a lot of games that I think now I now now I have good uh, resource income, but then someone someone else already won or or is about to win, so I like to go for uh, you know just go to ten points as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So if you have seen a lot of my games, you you will see this happen a lot of uh, a lot of the t uh, a lot of times. Just build two roads, two settlements, go for largest army. I'm happy with this aid, very happy because I can buy development cards and I need to do some uh, sprinting to get uh, get back to the yellow player in regards of development cards. Uh, so yeah, our, fir our next goal would be uh, a development card and also maybe we can get this settlement. Usually I try not to go for two objectives at once, just go just think what's my next step and go for that but of course this is Katan you need to improvise sometimes so I'll go for a development card here it's all already all it's always very nice to just have one knight in your hand so you can um, just to have it because normally if I if I run a seven I will not place it on yellow here because I'm afraid he will ju just use a knight and place it back on me so just to have it as you know a warning for the other players and also to have it to when I get blocked on a vital spot this 5 is pretty good for me it's not vital so <laughs> purple is interesting here I, I guess they are having a race for largest uh, longest road um, or maybe purple wanted to make sure that I did not go for this one uh, I wouldn't have gone for this one but he doesn't know right so we get an 8, that's a good number for us. Uh, we are pretty close to a city again, but I want to get the resource cards, uh, the development cards, I mean, going. So we get a victory point here, that's nice, but I really would like uh, a knight just to have it so I can block it, it's so I can remove the rubber when needed. Uh, if, it's, if it's placed on this 10, for example, you know, having this wound harbor doesn't make me that dependent on this 10. But it's just nice to have a knight to make sure that the rubber uh, is, uh, isn't is uh, very long on your tile. So again, yellow buys a development card. He has two right now. I believe there is, <clears throat> I noticed, if I heard about this trick or this glitch it is pretty much, that you can see if someone has a victory point. Um, I believe you can see it when, so you can see it on this. Uh, uh, in this uh, square you can see if he has a development card or not um, usually when an AI AI player is in someone rage quits uh, yellow for example um, I like to exploit the trading with the AI but I don't think that's a glitch uh, but I don't really want to use glitches but at the same time it's in the game everyone can do it um, Everyone can do it and I'm afraid my opponents will use it and then I think I should use it as well. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm not sure if I use this glitch. But I'll try to show it, so I can show it on my turn I think. Because we have a victory point card. So I can show how the glitch works. Uh, I think it's a really really bad thing of the developers that they, I think they have to be aware of it right now. But they not do, them not doing anything about it. I think that's a real big mistake. If Red takes this trade, it seems like he doesn't. We have another city. Uh, I like to have those cities, even though we do not have a three to one harbor. Having two cities is just very good. Um, that way we get to the other cities even faster. And again, we want to go for four cities and get largest army. Uh, at this case, we actually only need three cities because. For every victory point card that we get while going for the knights, that means one less city to upgrade. So Red's taking his time, he didn't go for the trade with me, 
So I guess you cannot see it because it's my own turn. Um, but uh, you know, in this square, you can see what the player is doing, right? So I'm rolling dice, but. Uh, for example, if yellow has two, uh, you can use your knight before rolling, right? So then you would see three dots. If if you see three dots, you know we he has at least one playable card, um, one playable card before rolling. If he doesn't have a playable card before rolling, I think I uh, you see this this symbol on other players. So we have two brick right now. We can go for a development card, but we also can go for a city. Um, I'm honestly not sure yet what I think that what's better for me, but at least let's check if we can get to a city. You know, maybe we are thinking too much uh, about something that we cannot even do because we need do need a trade to get to get to our next city. So if they don't want to do it, I don't have, even have to think about it. So the purple pr player is thinking about it. I know he has an R. He takes it, and I think I take it. Cities are just very powerful. My ore income is not that good, so I'll take it just to have this city. I know it sucks that I don't have a development card. Hopefully a 7 gets rolled really quick, and it gets rolled here. <coughs> so that's very good for us, but I think we have a target on our back. I think we are, we are doing pretty pretty good. Um, so I'm expecting it to be placed there, but uh, the yellow player place, places it on red. Maybe he still has some anger because he got blocked, but I think this one was, you know, even worse uh, to get blocked. Uh, but it, it's getting harder and harder to get to largest army. What is purple doing with his roads? I have no idea why he won. I guess going for this one could be a sign that he wants to get longest road. It also could be a way... Uh, to block me maybe he only had a you know he wanted to build a settlement here he wanted to build, build a settlement here and uh, but he couldn't but he did have a road in his hands so he decided I'll buy I'll build this road just so I cannot get blocked I basically he's now sure that he can get the settlement I guess he's not sure I still could go from this way but well yeah you have spots for five settlements, no need for army this time. That's very, very true, uh, Farada. I could go for this one, or even this one, but I think this one would be better in that case. Um, I could go for uh, for four cities, one settlement, one victory point. Uh, could be a possibility. We'll see what we get. It depends a bit on the rolls that we get. We got a five. Fives are uh, pretty much our best number that we can get. And uh, I'm not sure what I should go for. I think my first priority now, you know, it's a tough choice actually. I could go for another development card, uh, but then I'm invested in it, right? Um, then again, yellow only has one knight turned around. Um, maybe we can use that, that glitch to see if he has any knights. Um, you know, I don't really like it since it's a glitch, but I think it's it's there for everyone, and I'm afraid that the other players will use uh, will use it. So, I guess this is uh, a a fine moment to try it out. See if we understand it. Um, let's let me see what I want here. I would like some grain or some ore uh, or some lumber even. I'm not sure if Red did anything with that lumber. So red has wool uh, and two lumber, so I'm stealing from red here. And I think I would like, to, I also would like to mess a bit with the orange player, or the yellow player. But just placing it here doesn't really feel good any longer, but I think still it's my best bet, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, this one doesn't really make sense either. What does yellow have? I would like to steal from yellow, but uh, yellow, mm, won't place it there because I don't want to place it on the yellow player. So we got the lumber here, we got our uh, settlements. I guess uh, we should be happy with that. And now let's see if we can, if we understand how the glitch works. So I'll try to explain it. So yeah, he has a knight. So he first had to make a decision. That that are the three dots. Like you're waiting for his action. 
and you could see that he first made an action and then you could see him roll if he if he doesn't have a possibility to to make it to do an action or to to choose between using my knight or to roll then you'll you'll see a different symbol i'm not exactly sure what it is but you'll see a different symbol so now we know for a fact that he has at least one knight so we are two knights uh behind at least probably more right the chances of of being further away uh, is pretty reasonable uh, pretty expectable so I think maybe Ferrada you are right and uh, we the, the, the thing that would make most sense is go for this settlement definitely because the yellow player now has built this road I don't really feel like going for that one so I guess yeah that that makes sense you know I have to invest a lot for the for the development cards those resources I can also use to get cities so mm, and now we get brick that's also good for this situation um, I think we can get yeah we can get uh, that settlement and I think we should do it but let's see if someone wants to give us something for this brick we can get it uh, we can give it away and still get that settlement I think I think yeah, it's it's the best decision to go for four cities one settlement one victory point card and GG so I want to check how many trees so I'll take this this trade I'm not really afraid of purple um, he might have he might have possibilities for getting longest road but I don't really care about it so I'm fine trading with him and we get that settlement now the only thing we need to do is get uh, cities right so I'll I'll keep these uh, womb just to have some flexibility it depends on what numbers we are being rolled we get a 9 here so I'm pretty hopefully we get a 10 and we get a, our next city so let's check how many trees have been rolled because yeah a lot that must have been right and also three twos but I'm not sure when I didn't even notice me getting those brick yeah I have low ore but we do have these uh, 8 and 5 wound tiles and the wound harbor so that should help us but oh, oh and there's a monopoly it's a pretty early monopoly I like to use them later in the game uh, he doesn't have a grain port he does have a 3 to 1 port and I guess he paid paid pretty good attention on what roles had been had been there because he gets he gets 8 resources that's okay I've seen better uh, but now he has a lot of possibilities what he wants to do he already has a 3 to 1 resource so I guess he's going for this one just because he wants four settlements uh, winning a game without four settlements is very hard um, you you need longest road and largest army or you need two victory point cards to win a game without four settlements and he's stealing from red here so a lot of uh, a lot of blocks a lot of uh, settlements that are being stolen from other players but I guess it's revenge of the yellow player right he got blocked twice so now we could do it back uh, yeah but all those trees did kind of hurt me uh, I think my my brick would have been more valuable if if we didn't get you know uh, <laughs> you, you don't expect uh, as many trees that will be rolled as sixes are being rolled um, but in this game so far it has happened I guess you know it can happen it's just the way it is purple my man you're blocking yellow and red I think yellow is also looking pretty pretty damn good in this game so I think yellow is my biggest competitor uh, so this is a very good spot for me hopefully red does not use a knight immediately maybe uh, uh, the purple player wanted to get his grain back still he could have placed it there but well yeah I'm I'm not sure what the purple player is doing right he, he's just go, get, going everywhere I'm not sure why he builds this road if he can buy a build a settlement there I'm not sure why he built that road I'm not sure why he built this one I guess no one has longest road yet red has I think red has good setup um, but purple also so one two three four five six seven uh, one two three four five six yeah seven he would get up to seven with just one road Red would get more if he finishes uh, his road, but well, yeah. And we get an eight here. This is good for us. 
Um, let's see if someone wants to give us anything for this brick because getting three brick isn't very good for us um, because we do not have this three to one harbor. Um, I guess I'll do this uh, because I need one ore. So if I hit a ten now, I get to uh, up to my three ore. Um, do I trade trade anymore? I think I will because I feel I have too much resources uh, to pass it around so I'll go for one more it doesn't really make sense because you know when I hit my R I get two, two of them anyway uh, but maybe I get stolen here yep and one R is away so I'm happy I did that uh, because the chance I hit another 8 or a 5 or a 6 go all over 7 and then a 7 is being rolled was yeah no it was just a too big of a risk for me Go for one more settlement, you say, Ferrada. I feel uncomfortable doing that because I'm not used to it, but maybe it's the best choice. Uh, we will see what happens. I think Yellow is playing pretty well in this game, uh, but these aids are helping us. But, you know, getting your aids shouldn't be that big of a, a surprise because it's a good number. Getting uh, Not getting them, that would be, be a surprise. I noticed, I just noticed I didn't put on the historic characters yet, so... Here they are again. This is a good trade for me. And here go here goes greedy me again. I would like something extra. <laughs> Maybe it's too much. Hopefully he goes back for the one to one trade if he doesn't want to do it. But he's the one asking. So since he he didn't accept that, I'll just go back to the original trade and hopefully we we'll, we can do it. Uh, <clears throat> eight wheat. Maybe they don't care of it. Yeah, I could go for that one. This one is, you know, a bit of a risk, but I would like a 3 to 1 harbor for those sixes that I hit. And he trades with the yellow player. I guess I understand that, but I, I think yellow probably has at least one victory point card and gets largest army and he's, he has more, more points than me. So he did have two or <coughs> the purple, purple player. So let's see what he does now with, with this brick. He has to do, do something, not just build more roads, right? goes for a settlement we could also if we get a lot of aids I didn't even oh, we get a 10 here which is interesting we really would like a 9 or a 3 right now and no 7 please another 10 so hmm I'm not sure if anyone has weeds but let's try it we could go for a sneaky longest road still since we have eight points we could go for a sneaky longest road nobody has taken it taken it so far and we only need the three of them so I think if we focused on that instead of those cities maybe we could have at least be close to winning already so purple also doesn't want to do it so let's see if someone wants to give me two break for two wound that would also get me another city and we'll just wait for another six Oh, I have Orport right now. Thank you for telling me that, uh, Farada, man. That was. <laughs> so, we'll go. Oh, don't. Damn. So, bank. Let's do this. Well, good guy, uh, Farada, for pointing that out to me. Damn. So, we get up to nine points. Get one more city and we're done. I was just only paying attention to this wound port, so I guess, thank you man, that really, really helped me. This where the 3 to 1 port would have been handy, yeah, but I still think we have pretty good odds at winning right now. We only need one more city, right, so uh, one more 10, a 8 would get us at least very close, I think they know it probably. Uh, I think uh, the yellow player also could be at 9 points, if he... That's one. I didn't check the glitch uh, anyway, uh, by the way, but if he has a victory point card and uh, largest army, he could also win. So hopefully we can finish it this round. Uh, Ferrata for the rescue. I could have taken longest, really? Uh, of course I could have. I could have used all that ore and uh, the wound to get longest, probably. I think I only had two brick, right? But you guys are probably right, so maybe I threw, I threw a game again. It's not the first time. It will not be the last time, honestly. Uh, 
I had to win, but yeah. I see your message now, Farad. I, I could have gotten the win. Let's see if I can get it now anyway. Because I think yellow could be very close as well. What did yellow get last round? Did he get this uh, this ore? That would suck if he get if he got that ore. Ah, I hopefully I got it. If I don't get it, I will be, you know, pretty angry to myself probably. Red does take longest road now, so that's no longer an option. So hopefully we hit pretty much if we hit anything. I think no a nine wouldn't win us the game but anything else would win us the game a seven obviously not so we hit the one thing that will not win us the game um let's see if someone so what is there a lot of i think there is a lot of grain right now rats hopefully he does this let's start with one brick so my my next trade will look even better if i offer him two brick for one for two grain for one grain so let's do this guys give me the win they probably know it right if they are good players they should know it uh, we are very close but I'm I'm honestly scared of uh, I'll do this thank you red GG <laughs> that that's what wait yeah yeah that's nice of him giving me that win there uh, yeah cool I think he should have noticed that. Let's call GG well played. And let's not get the timer uh, over as we had before. I almost clicked it actually when when pointing it out to you. So let's win the game here. GG well played. First game, first win. We could have done it faster. I think that was a mistake of mine. I should have seen that. I, I, actually, I, I told you guys I could go for the longest road. I noticed it was a possibility. But when I actually could, I didn't take it. But yeah, pretty happy first game, first win. GG.